So this is a video on downloading and uh, installing harmonic constants to the program QTVLM. When you download the program, it does not include any of these constants. And um, so we have to load them first. And we, for a PC, we have to do this in two steps. We have to go get the files we want, but they end up coming in a compressed file that Windows won't open. So that means we have to download a, a program first to do it. So actually, let's get the program we want to, uh, to, that's going to unzip it. So get your browser, and you go to WinRAR. Oh, here's WinRAR download. I've done it. So here you go to WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. -R, and now you want it. You don't want it from there. You want it from RAR Lab. So get WinRAR from RAR Lab right here. And we're at a 64-bit Windows 10, so take the second one down, take that one. Now, yeah, okay, so that is loaded. Now, in fact, I think we can just run that now. Let's just see what happens, yes. Uh, install, uh, please, some files could not be created. Please close all, okay. Uh, cannot create, okay, uh, process being used by another process. Close. Okay. I think that loaded. You may not see that, but I think WinRAR is effect is loaded. So now with WinRAR loaded, um, we now have got to go get the file we want, which is at uh, Xtide. So you can, that's a flatter, F-L-A-T-E-R, flatter co Xtide, flatter co Xtide. That's it. So there's where you want to be, flatterco.com slash xtide. Come up here to the uh, files, this link right here. Then we want harmonic files over here. And here's the top one, and uh, this we want right here. Now this all looks a little bit complicated, but don't worry about that. We just want this file. And the problem is, is .tar.xz. If that just said .zip, we would be happy and we'd be done by now. But that, that, because of that, we have to do it. So let's just click that and that downloaded. So now I think we can go in the downloads folder there is this guy here. I think we can right click and just say extract here. And these are various diagnostics we don't care about. And there, let me take a quick look. Yes, that's the folder we want. We actually want one particular file inside that folder, but that's the one we want and we're done here. And we go back, let me save that and maybe just drag it in there. Uh, let me go back. I don't need this. But here's the program. We go to QTVLM, uh, configuration, uh, gribs and harmonics, and add, add, and then we go to harmonics. This is where we're going to add it. And then, ah, it's in there because I did this just a while ago. Darn it. And that, I do, so it's not a very good demo. But let me, uh, what you do then is you just drag that one file. You see, you've got this here. Just drag this guy in there and drop it and replace it. Okay, you know, okay, so I'm replacing it. So anyway, that, that, what you do is just drag that file right into here and drop it. And then you're good to go. Oh, no, you're not. Look, see, it really wants to see the TCD file. So open this up. And you see that. Once you open it, you'll see that. I double clicked it. Then you click this one, and it shows here, and you open. Now you're good to go. It shows it here. So this is what you need to see down here when you're done. You got this harmonic, that file. That's like that. While you're here, you might as well turn these three things on. They're all helpful. OK, and then scroll it up and say OK. And then, uh, if we turn on the currents now, loading the harmonics, and there is that. We can right click, look at the details. Okay, so later we're going to come back and talk about how to read these and all the neat features that are not obvious immediately there. But the harmonics are loaded, and that is the main thing that this video is about. So I'm done.